So it's, it's great to hear uh, so much talking already in the room, lively, you know, walk in a room at eight, 8 in the morning and deathly silent. Um, so I think we're off to a good start. We're so glad everyone could make it here, our, our presenters, our, our guests, uh, NIH staff. Um, uh, just a, a few uh, quick remarks before we get started. Um, uh, as I think most of you uh, can tell uh, and know, the, um, the whole thing is being webcast. Uh, there are cam three cameras. Um, and uh, so a couple things about that. Um, uh, you're, of course, welcome to stand up and walk around. If, you, if you're standing up, try not to stand in front of the cameras. Um, the other thing that uh, Maggie asked me, and so there's one there, one there, and one up here in the front. The other thing that uh, Maggie, our video person, asked me to let you know is that the cameras pick up everything. They rove and they pick up everything. So, for example, your screens. Just, so just be aware of that and <laughs> stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, the, um, the, uh, shame on you, the, uh, <laughs> we're also running a Twitter feed, uh, uh, along, right alongside the, the webcast, uh, and, um, sitsai Elsie is the hashtag. We, of course, would love it if, uh, any of you have positive things to tweet <laughs> about the meeting. Uh, no, but obviously, you know, f you know, we, we certainly welcome uh, welcome your your feedback. Um, and for those of you who are watching, uh, oh well, we'll talk about it in a minute. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, the meeting's been sponsored by. Uh, th this is really uh, a, a big group of people from across NIH have come together to to work this out. Uh, the money has come from NCI uh, Genome and uh, NCATS, the National Center for Advancing Translational Sciences. And we've got a, a really big and wonderful planning group that's brought this all together, and we're quite grateful uh, to them. Uh, oh, that's the wrong way. I knew that. <laughs> oh, thanks. And uh, 14 different institutes are represented on uh, our, our NIH-wide uh, citizen science working group. And so uh, they're not all here in the room, but they will all sort of uh, hear from us, and so you're speaking to a good part of NIH. The best parts, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I think we've been able to talk to most of the people in the room, but just um, as a note for the people who are watching as well and people we, we weren't able to talk to individually, we just wanted to give a, uh, just the, the background here, the purpose and what our goals for this meeting are so that we can all make sure that we're um, speaking to the top, uh, the topics that we're uh, introducing today. And then we'll also talk a little bit about like how we tried to pick people here. We know we couldn't represent everybody and that there are many people that we want, we should reach out to in order to really make uh, citizen science successful at NIH. But, um, you know, we'll, we want to engage people on that as well. So, you know, just briefly, the purpose of this workshop is just to identify the types of ethical, legal, and social issues that come up when you're doing, you know, what a broad range of research that could be categorized under citizen science. And as you can see from the definition that we have up there, it's a very broad definition and we know that different people have different feelings about that and hopefully that'll, um, we'll be able to discuss that more. Um, although we are limiting it to, you know, biomedical research, here broadly including, you know, the standard clinical bi uh, biomedical, biological uh, studies, but also behavioral, social, environmental. So really the range of studies that fall under uh, NIH's purview. Okay, so just, um, we talked about the goals too with a lot of you. Um, the fir our first goal is to just identify these LC issues that come up as you're conducting research. And, you know, we, we really wanted it pe to be grounded in research practice, which is why we invited a lot of people in the room who we think are um, doing the kinds of research that might fall under uh, NIH's citizen science purview. So we want to identify LC issues for that and, you know, for the purpose of, you know, giving guidance to NIH policymakers who are considering citizen science, but also, you know, for use of, for investigators, not just, you know, NIH funded, but just generally NIH or investigators who are doing the, the broad range of citizen science projects. So that's our, you know, our first overarching goal. But then our second goal also, because this is an LC meeting, is to identify the gaps in LC research 
uh, that could be done in order to start addressing these issues. So we want to identify issues, but we also want to think about how we can begin to address them. Um, and the third one we haven't really talked as much about with you, but really this is at our, uh, the second meeting at NIH that's related to citizen science, and you know we hope that there'll be more to come. That this is really the beginning of how we be, you know engage different communities uh, for whom citizen science is an important movement. So just keep that in mind, and we'll be asking people too uh, as we move forward in this meeting for their input on who else we should be reaching out to. Uh, this is a we tried to plan this to be a small group meeting, but we know we're missing people, and we want to know who those people are. So we'll be reaching out to you on that. Um, so really, if you look around the room, I, it seems like a lot of you already know each other. <laughs> but you know, we had some uh, ethics people who are doing work related to this, or people who are familiar with um, kind of the research regulations that are out there, the landscape uh, that might, if people who might be able to weigh in on the things that, the types of LSD issues that come up in this research, but also a lot of practitioners from different types of I guess the spectrum of research practices that might fall under the umbrella of citizen science. And, you know, we, we're fully cognizant that that definition is, uh, it's still, fluid. <laughs> yeah, it's fluid, it's constantly evolving. And so, you know, just in recognition of the, the way that this movement has been changing over time that we can't possibly, you know, speak to everything, um, we just wanted to invite a broad range of people who might be able to inform us and really keep this like a very discussion heavy, like this isn't, a meeting where experts are going to tell you everything that's already there to know because we don't know everything that's there to know yet. We can't possibly guess. And so we want everybody to come and learn from each other and just really share their experiences. And hopefully we can, you know, we can move forward from that. Like there aren't any experts yet because this is a continually moving field. And we want everybody to acknowledge that and we want everybody to speak freely and openly and so we can really get the ideas out there. That's what we care about. We, we invited you here because we think we can learn a lot from you. Um, so with that in mind, we have an emphasis on discussion. We've asked people to come in and give presentations, but really those presentations, I think we said seven minutes, we will keep you on time and no more than five slides we asked um, when we talked to all of you so that we would really have time for discussion. And you know, we in, in, invite participation throughout the meeting, even though you were assigned to a specific uh, s part of the research area or spectrum of the research, you should talk, feel free to talk throughout the entire meeting because we know that, you know, things that you decide at the beginning of the research plan will affect the end and vice versa, that everything is really interconnected and that the kind of the boundaries that we impose on the research process are really artificial. And so, you know, we acknowledge that, but we needed some sort of organizing principle for having this meeting. So please feel free to talk. In fact, we, you know, we encourage as much discussion as possible. We really want to get the issues out there. And I think um, we think that's more important than anything. We're not here to come up with, you know, the answers today. We know that there aren't any. So we just want, we want everything, all the issues out there. All right. Thanks. So just a, a few housekeeping items. Um, um, uh, for those of you who uh, have slides but haven't given them to Katrina yet, uh, Katrina, can you just wave your hand? She's back in the back. And uh, just, you know, get them to her when you can. Uh, there's also a, a stick up here, a place for memory sticks, and, uh, and I believe your computer can also be plugged in up here if you prefer to do it that way. Um, the microphone, so uh, sort of in with the webcast, um, uh, it really helps if the people watching on the web can hear you. And so these microphones, you have to press a little uh, button and uh, it, you'll see something turns red and that means you're hot and live and, and, every, and you're being mic'd. So uh, uh, please remember to do that. And, there's, uh, and for, for folks um, who aren't sitting at a table, there are a couple of uh, remote mics where you can ask questions uh, you know, make comments, et cetera. Um, we do have wireless. There's two NIH uh, networks that you should be able to see. Uh, sometimes they work well, sometimes they don't, but hopefully they are working. Uh, uh, I always forget what they're called. One is Air, AirNet, and yeah. one is, they both have NIH yeah, in the name. Yeah, guest, right. Yeah, yeah. But thank you, guest. What, and uh, so let us know if you're having issues with that, but uh, hopefully you can connect if, if you need to. Um, uh, food, there are uh, right now um, uh, 
wa bread and water is what we've got here. <laughs> uh, there's uh, granola. granola bars and, and uh, water uh, back there. Um, and there's a cafe that's uh, open on the first floor. I believe they stay open until about 3. They've got coffee, all, all sorts of uh, drinks, uh, and, uh, and pretty good food. So uh, feel free to duck out as you need to. Uh, some of the uh, restrooms are out the glass double doors, go past the elevators and, and take a left. Um, parking, anyone who, uh, who parked here? Um, Katrina, who do they see for, for parking pass, you know? Yeah. Oh, Yvette, Yvette's got uh, uh, stickers so you don't have to pay for parking. Um, and that goes for, for everyone here. Uh, and um, there'll be a shuttle at uh, quarter to six, picking up from here back to the hotel. And then tomorrow morning again at 7.45 and 8. Uh, uh, and then at the end of the meeting uh, tomorrow, uh, we'll be able to coordinate cabs uh, for you guys to, to the airports, train stations, uh, et cetera. So I can't think of it. Oh, um, just, uh, just be careful. Everyone's got um, sort of a bit of tangle of wire underneath their tables. So just, you know, watch your feet and uh, try not to, you know, get caught in the trap. All right. So, yeah. And... I guess we should get started. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks everybody for coming. We know you traveled far, and that this you know we're asking a lot of you, compare relative to other meetings you might have attended. So we really we really appreciate your being here and agreeing to participate. So. Oh, one other quick little thing, Tasha sitting up here in the corner is going to be our timekeeper, and so uh, she'll be um, she'll be flagging you uh, at sort of <laughs> with three minutes, one minute, and and at the end of your talk. Yeah. So. And then. <laughs> no, you may not bribe her. She's a public official. <laughs> and then um, just so for, just for meeting structure, um, we'll ask people who are speaking to come up here, but uh, not to sit at the, t at the panel table until after all the presentations so that, you know, you can actually see the presentation and that your head won't be blocking it right. for everybody else. Yes. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll have uh, Liz Glanders and, oh, or just Jennifer Couch. Who is our <laughs> just Jennifer? Who is the pretty much our leader for our citizen science um, NIH group? 